Hey guys, my name is George and this is Tech Talk. So what we're going to be doing is talking about some of the different tech platforms that you're going to be using on the internet to help you connect with others and generally just get around the world that is the internet. So the first one we're going to talk about today is Facebook. Just a quick overview of what Facebook is in case you haven't heard of it or don't know much about it beyond what it's called and it's the fact your kids use it. It's a social media network that helps you connect with people all over the world. So whether it be the United States, Canada, India, wherever. It's a large social media network connecting you to people all over the globe. And actually at the moment, they have about 2 billion users. Started off very small, just a young upstart named Mark Zuckerberg in Harvard, early 2000s, wanted to create a platform to rate girls and turn into one of the biggest platforms ever. And right now is, I think, the fourth or fifth largest company in the world. And for you, for what you need to know, it's going to be one of the best ways for you to connect with people, especially right now during COVID, where seeing people in person is a little bit troublesome. So with that being said, we're going to dive in and talk a little bit about what that looks like for you. So first thing about Facebook is that two ways you can access it, one being on your desktop and another way being on your phone. With the phone, it'd be an app. You can also use the desktop version on your app, but typically on your phone, it makes more sense to use it on your phone and some mobile app. But also when you move to the desktop, there will be a desktop version that you can access through a browser, such as Google Chrome, Safari, Internet Explorer, whatever it is you use. For the sake of what we're doing here, we're gonna focus on the desktop version. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is log in. Just to show you what that would look like, let's say you're new to this, creating a new account. It's real simple. You know, we can put in a first name here. We'll play around with it, George Bell, my phone number. We'll just throw in some numbers, you know. Don't want any junk calls at the moment, but if you want to get my number, you know, reach out. I'll find a way to get it to you if you really want it. Throw in a password, a birthday, whatever that be for you. Just throw in some dummy numbers here. Gender, and from there, you're pretty much ready to go. It'll be a little bit more information on verifying your email, creating a password, and making sure that password is strong because cybersecurity is very important right now with two billion people on this platform. There's a lot of things that you want to make sure you protect. So make sure that password is strong. But that's what that looks like. As you can see here, we'll go ahead and go to login just because I already have one. It'll be easier for me to show you everything that's really on the platform. So go ahead, throw in password, throw in your email, throw in a password. And just like that, we're here. So this is your home page, this will look different for everybody, it just depends on your friends, on the different pages you own, the different pages you're connected to, things that Facebook identifies will be interesting to you, and that's based off of your interests, the things that you like, the pages that you land on, etc. A lot of information comes together on this page. So let's just give a quick dive into what this looks like. So first, at the top here, we got what we call stories. These are just quick snapshots within 24 hours of what somebody's up to. You can post these on your phone, through a desktop camera, whatever. These actually disappear in 24 hours, so these are just a quick glimpse of whatever's going on in you or your friends' lives. Very interesting, you can add filters, you can do a lot of different things with that. It's a very cool tool. Then we have the ability for you to create posts. So whether it be 3 a.m., 3 p.m., just general, random day, just wanna talk about what I ate, what's going on in my city, what's going on in my life. You can make a post about anything, like, hey guys, and of course, you can spell better than me. But hey guys, talking to you from TikTok. Boom, I could post that. I could add a photo or video. I could add you know, a room of people to only be able to see this. I could tag my friends, you know, if that's what you really wanna do to make sure they see it. How you're feeling, a location. You know, it's limitless what you could add to that. And that's all customized to what you wanna do. Then from there, we can actually start a live video. So one thing that a lot of organizations are doing, I'm actually calling you and presenting this from St. Stephen's Church. And one thing that we do and a lot of organizations do is go live to show different events, whether that be a Bible study, whether it be a BLM protest, or it's just an event going on around town, or it's just me just wanting to talk to my friends live in person, whoever wants to decide to click in, you can actually start that. That's a process in itself, so I'm not going to touch it at the moment, but we can dive deeper in that if that's something of interest to you. But from there, you can look through your 
timeline, they call it, which is basically a collection of all the different posts, updates, and even some business advertisements that correlate to some things that you're interested in as we scroll down here. So we can see different posts. I can comment. I can like these. I can share them with friends. Overall, it's just a place for you to collect all the different updates, information that's going on with, between your friends and your network. So let's say that we want to look somebody up. I'll go ahead and look up my mom because she's always active on here. Of course, you can leave your page um, if you want to do that. So, you know, here's my mom. I can scroll through her information, click on her profile if I so chose to do so. You'll see her information here. Let's say we want to look up the good old guys over at St. Stephen's Baptist Church. We can click over there, see their page. And this is one way you can connect with small businesses, organizations that are of interest to you. More, more than likely, they're almost all on Facebook. I think it's about 90% of businesses with a digital presence have a Facebook page. You can contact them. With here, you can go to home. You can look at their about in terms of what they're all about. You know, location, general information, photographs that they've placed, events that they have planned. You can like it, unlike it, just to let them know you support. A lot of functionality here. So then let's go to our homepage here as well. So we can look at, you know, different pages that might be of interest to you. So you see here voting information, obviously. Make sure you guys hit the polls in November, but you can click on that. Learn information about local polling areas, Live Black Voices. That's a page that Facebook's actually identified of interest at the moment that can change sporadically depending on what's important, what may be important to you based on what they know about you. Um, Messenger, where you can look at different messages that people send. The marketplace, where you can sell items or buy items. Um, watch, which is just different videos that people post. It's all collected into place. Fundraisers, you can see more. And th those will all be aggregates of what it is that you want, what you're looking for, what kind of things that you do. Now let's dive in to the real bread and butter of Facebook and why it's such a popular platform with 2 billion people is your profile, talking about you and what you want to share with the world. So we see here, here me, 22-year-old hyperactive knuckleheaded entrepreneur guy. Love you. But you see my profile picture. That's something I can change if I just click on it. Also a cover photo. These are all pretty much interchangeable. I could change these photos at any time. This is what the public will see. We can go scroll down. People can actually post on your wall, which is what they call the, your personal timeline on your page for your profile. So we see here, you know, a post that you've been tagged in. I've been tagged in. Another post I've been tagged in. Um, Happy birthday, because my birthday was a couple weeks ago. People can post happy birthday on here. I graduated from UK, so there's a picture of me from my mom, you know, talking about that. We can, like I mentioned, edit all this information. So we say we go here to edit profile, and we can see that I can change that. I can change this. I can add something or take away something from that bio. We can even customize your intro. I can talk about jobs I've had, um, some education I did with the University of Kentucky, maybe my high school and my middle school, the places I've lived when I joined Facebook all the way back in 2011, much different place than it was then. And any information that you find worthy of sharing with your friend groups or anyone that you might want to be friends with. So with that being said, that's Facebook. It's, like I mentioned, one of the biggest platforms to connect with people. In a time right now, socially distanced doesn't mean you can't socialize. This is one of the best places that you can do so. And I look forward to friending all of you guys. Please send me your friend request. Send your friend's friend request. Get active out there. I've been George. This has been Tech Talk. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys for the next episode. Thank you.